Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. So we have to find the area of the triangle whose vertices are 2, 3, minus 1, 0 and 2, minus 4. So let's find the area. So area is nothing but, we know that area is nothing but, I like the formula here. 1 by 2 into x1 into y2 minus y1 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. This is the area. We know the formula. We know this is x1, y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 so area of triangle abc we will just use the formula it comes out to be 1 by 2 x1 that is 2 into y2 that is 0 minus y2 minus y3 i think yeah 0 minus minus 4 minus 4 plus x2 that is minus 1 into y3 minus y1 that is minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 plus x3 that is 2 y1 minus y2 y1 that is 3 and y2 that is 0 3 minus 0 so this is only but 1 by 2 into 2 into 4 minus minus 4 is plus 4 plus minus 1 into minus 7 that is plus 7 plus 2 into 3 is 6. So what you get is 1 by 2 into 8 plus 7 plus 6 correct that is 1 by 2 into 21 that is 21 by 2 and that is my answer. One more approach we have is it's a little simple to solve. See, one thing is you just remember the formula. If you are not able to remember the formula, if you have poor memory, like me, I, I don't remember formulas. So, I am giving a shortcut way. So, what we have to do here is, you just write like this, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, x1, y1. That is, x1, x2, x3, then again x1, x, y1, y2, y3, then again y1. This you have to write. Then what you do, you take this, draw line like this. Then, this is x1, this is y2. So you write x1, y2 plus x2, y3, x2, y3 plus this is x3, y1 x3 minus now this side whatever is this is minus now so draw a dotted line like this in this side whatever you get is a minus so what you get minus y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x3 the whole thing when you divide by 2. This is the area. This is a way to remember the formula. If you don't remember this complex formula x1, y2 minus y3, x2, y3 minus y1, x3, y1 minus y2. So this is a complex formula to remember. So in that case, what you can do is you can use this formula. Correct? You write x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, x3, y3, like this. You take all these values, you multiply x1, y2, you get this, x1, y2, sorry. Then x2, y3, you get this, x3, y1, you get this, minus all this, x2, y1, this one, x3, y2, this one, x3, y, x1, y3, y3, x1, this one. Whole thing divided by 2 is your form. This formula also, if you want to remember, this is not that difficult. You take x1, just try to remember this. You take x1, then here you will get always y, x, y, x, y form, right? 
so you will get y2 right so after 2 it is 3 so you will say minus y3 so you get x1 then by default it is y2 after 1 it is 2 so you get y3 then second you will take x2 by default it will be y3 now why because it is 2 this will become 3 this is y after 3 it is 1 so it is minus 1 similarly you will take x3 after 3 it is what is 1 after 3 it is 1 see because it is 1 2 3 1 like this right so after 3 it is 1 so it is y1 after 1 it is 2 minus y2 this is one way to remember the formula see x1 so I will write x1 by 2 x1 after x1 you have to be y so I will say after 1 it is y after 1 it is 2 so y2 minus after 2 it is 3 y2 minus 3 plus after x1 it is x2 x2 since it is 2 so we will say y3 2 3 after 3 it is 1 so y1 plus x3 into after x3 x will be y after 3 it will come 1 1 after 1 it will come 2 this is the problem. So if you want to remember in this fashion you can remember this or if you want you can do this way x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x1 y1 take this direction all positive take this direction all negative by by doing the thing. Right? This is the two approach to remember the area of the triangles. Without this it will be a little difficult because if you uh, instead of y3 minus y1 if you remember y1 minus y3 you will get different answer. So better you remember like this x1 then it is y2 minus y3 because 1 2 3 you see 2 3 1 right. 3, 1, 2, like this. 1, 2, 3, after 3, stop. After 2, 2, 3, after 3, 1, 3, after 3, 1, 1, 2, like this. If you remember this way or remember this way, don't just muggle this formula because we muggle this formula. The chances that you you miss signs is high and then you get different answers. So better you try to learn this formula in this pattern. Let's take some more example. The question says in each of the following, find the value of k for which the points are collinear. So this is the point, three points and we have to find the value of k for which they are collinear. So for collinear I told you that two approach, one is area of the triangle is zero and the second is if you have three points A, B, C, you find a distance of all this point, you get the longest distance and then you see AC is equal to AB plus BC, then also they are collinear. Since we are dealing with the area of triangle now, we will use the approach now. Let me show you the shortcut way. I told shortcut is x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 and x1, y1, right? This is one how you have to write. So let me write this 7, 5 minus 2, sorry, 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2, 5, 1, 3k, 7 minus 2, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, and x1, y1. Done. Let's take, the, take the, this, these directions and say add. So, area is nothing but 1 by 2 into, let's add this 7 into 1 plus 5 into k plus. 3 into minus 2, correct? Minus these directions minus minus 2 into 5 plus 1 into 3 plus 7 into k, correct? The whole thing is 1 by 2. So, what you get here is 1 by 2 into 7 plus 5k minus 6 right minus minus 10 plus 3 is minus 7 plus 7k that's what you get if you solve this further you get nothing but 1 by 2 into 1 plus 5k plus minus minus 7 is plus 7 minus 7k and this is equal to 0. So what you get here is 5k minus 7k is minus 2k plus 8 is equal to 0. You saw this you get k is equal to 4. 
let's take one more example thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again